Hey, what's going on guys? I want to talk to you guys about a topic that I believe we all need to think about and we all need to grab and grasp and embrace. When are you not able? When am I not able? Let me talk to you a little bit. So the Bible says that we are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus, right? This is Galatians 3.26, right? And then the Bible says in Romans 8.16 that the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So through faith, we become sons and the Spirit bears witness to us that we are sons. Therefore, when we believe, we become sons and we have the Holy Spirit, right? So sons of God have the Holy Spirit. Believers of Christ receive the Holy Spirit, become sons of God, right? The Bible says that He is our guarantee and that He has been put into our hearts by God Himself, right? You got 2 Corinthians 1 22, then you got the Bible in 1 Corinthians um, 6 19 that it says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, right? So if you're a believer of Christ, you're a son of God, if you're a son of God, it's confirmed to you and it's given testimony to your spirit by the Holy Spirit who is in you, which makes your body the temple of the Holy Spirit. So as a believer, you're always a son and you always have the spirit. Now, you have the Spirit, we talk about the gifts of the Spirit, we talk about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit and walking in love and living holy, bearing good fruit. The gifts of the Spirit and being able to bring the kingdom of God by the Spirit, prophesying, healing the sick and doing uh, the power stuff, right? So a lot of times we say, well, I just, uh, maybe I'm not able to, maybe I don't have what it takes, uh, uh, maybe I'm not ready to, to, to live like this, maybe I'm not ready, I haven't been into Bible school enough to heal the sick and to see power manifestations in my life. Well, if you're a believer, let's go back to that, you're a son or a daughter. If you're a son or a daughter, you have the spirit bearing witness with your spirit. That means he's in you. That means you are able. So when are you not anointed? When are you not able to live holy? When are you not able to bear good fruit? When are you not able to bring the kingdom upon somebody's life? When are you not able to live like Christ if you have the Spirit of Christ in you, the Spirit of the Son, which says, Abba, Father, in you? When are you not able, if the Spirit's always in you, if you always believe in Christ, if you're already a son of God, when are you not able? Ask yourself that. As a matter of fact, remind yourself that when uh, your mind tries to think like how you used to think before you had the Spirit and tries to say, oh, you're just human after all. Oh, you can't live like this. Only Jesus was able to live like this. In the book of Acts, it says in chapter 1, read it right now, it says that Jesus gave commandments to the apostles by the Spirit. That means it wasn't because he was Jesus, it was because he had the Spirit. Who do you have? Who can you hear? Same Spirit. Who can lead you? Same Spirit. Who can heal through you and work miracles through you? Same Spirit. With the fruit of what the flesh? No, the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. What do you have? The Spirit. Where is He? In you. You have those things in you. So when are you not able? Ask yourself that. Because I, I start to ask myself that so that I can remind myself that I'm able. Because as long as we remember our potential, we will have the confidence to step like we're able to. Because the truth is that we're able to. And knowing this truth sets you free from a lack of and from a lack of faith. Amen? So live by faith and remember what you're able to do because of who is in you. Because you believe in Christ. Do me a favor, like this video, share this video. I want you guys to check me out on YouTube, Nick Acosta, Facebook, Nick Acosta. Let's stay connected, let's grow together, and let's see the kingdom of God together in our lives with the fruit and the gifts of the Spirit because He is in us and we are able.